All right, let's get right into it. The sneaker releases. First up, we've got a few that have already released. This is the Vans Origami Pack. They feature the era and the slip-on. And you can have each one for $75. You cannot have the three of them. That's a rip-off then. <laughs> so 75 bucks, like that's cheap for Vans. Oh, yeah. oh, to be fair, that's USD. So that'd be like 100 AUD probably. Yeah, something like that. Now, yeah, for a very unique silhouette like that. Well, not silhouette, like, yeah, you know what I mean. I like them. They're very simple. Uh. I'm not sure how I feel about the pattern on this. Yeah, that one looks quite insane, like a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> it does look like a very reptilian. But yeah, the, the two checkerboards I like a lot. I probably like this one better, like the checkerboard with the black leather over the top. But yeah, so these ones have not sold out. I don't think they will. And they can be yours for just 70 buck a pop. 75. No, you said 75, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I said just seven, wasn't you it? You just said 70. Oh, did I? Yeah, 75. 75. There you go. <laughs> Disney. Next, yes. The Mickey Mouse and Adidas collection. Stan Smith. We've done a lot of Stan Smith lately, haven't we? Lately. We have. Oh, I hope they don't all refresh. Oh, mate. That's bad, isn't it? I might just hotspot now. All right, so this collection features the set, the Stan Smith and the Superstar. Yep. That one there is the Stan Smith. Now, you need 3D glasses to be able to look at this bad boy. Surely not. I actually, I like that, but it's kind of AIDS at the same time. Like No do, one's walking around with 3D glasses. Yeah, so they're, they're seeing that. But does that mean that these come with 3D glasses? Because oh, it would be even shitter if they don't. Because, like, where do you buy 3D glasses from? I genuinely do not know. I can't say I've ever seen any. Like, in like, the shop? Yeah. I think the only time I've ever seen them is when they hand it out at movie theatres and you've got to throw them away when you're done. Yeah. Or, like, at, like, a theme park. Yeah. You've got, like, the 4D movies and stuff. Yeah. Well... Maybe you've got to steal them. I went to Movie World recently, and you still got to put them in the bin as you as you leave. You can hide them. You probably you probably can take them, but they're very uncomfortable. Yeah, those ones are weird. They've mm. like, got like the boat out. Yeah. Ear, um, strap. Yeah. Ear strap. So so no one's willingly wearing them while walking around in public, just in case someone walks out with these joints. Yeah. So I do like it, but yeah. And then this is the superstar. I, I think that's a fairly shit. His head's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get a tattoo of him on your foot. Yeah. Your like, I hope it sort of continues on around the back elsewhere. What's going on here? I'll have to refresh it. So you get it in a uh, black and white as well. Oh, that one's a little bit better. No, it doesn't. But it just ends there. Weird. It is quite odd. Yeah, that's... I don't know. You want to know something? What? Go go, scroll up a bit. Keep it one more. This is that. You know, I always thought that that Disney was spot with a P at the end because of yeah. that. Yeah. And like, I just thought that like Disney, like with a Y at the end... It was yeah. just like the lazy way of spelling it. And like the proper <laughs> way of spelling it was with a P. How was that lazy? I don't know. Disney doesn't <laughs> make sense. I did not know that that was a Y. I thought it was like Disney. Yeah. But like a lot of the P is it's... like silent. Yeah. It's like Disney. Oh, I you know see. I mean? Yeah. But no. Yeah, it does look like a P. I mean, that looks more like a P than a Y. I if do you agree didn't with know. That, yeah. Kind of looks like a cactus as well. Disney cack. <laughs> uh, so these ones can be yours for $120. There you go. Which I think is pretty good. 
Which Next. they come with 3D glasses, man. That's a bargain. <laughs> Next up, we've got another OBJ collab. The Slip. Yep. The Air Max 720 Slip. I know you're a fan of the 720s as is. Mate. Those are insane looking. They really are. I don't even know how you would, like, take them off. Like, I assume it's got something to do with this thing, but then, like, how does it... Oh, that orange strap there comes up through the black strap. Where's the black strap attached to? I'm so confused with these. I think it's just attached to the shoe. Like, I thought those orange bulbous parts were part of this orange strap that runs up there. No, it probably is. It that pokes probably through. feels that way. It just genuinely does not look attached anywhere, that black thing. That's know. a fucking... Someone needs to buy these and let us know. I don't know. I'm not even looking at any other part of the show. I'm just focusing on that. What a, cra what what a crazy a car. Crazy view. Oh, I don't like the soul at all. It looks like an orthopedic inner soul. I'm not a fan of, of these, to be honest. I do like the 720s, but these are not it. But if you do like them, they are only $200. Yep. They also come in another colorway, I think. Is it these ones? Yeah. Black with a bit of orange. Those ones aren't bad. Yeah, they're, they're better. I like those ones a lot better. They kind of look like Karachis, but with that, like, sole on it. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. I like that yeah. one a lot better. Yeah. Then next up, we've got a Nike Blazer Mid Dorothy Gators. Oh, I like the sound of that. Dorothy Gators. The, it's an athlete of some form. I think. Maybe they did. Yeah. Uh, Matriarch of Marshall High School. Okay. I've just read, further nod to Gator's efforts as it shapes to a basketball form. Maybe she was a coach or a teacher or something. Yeah, maybe. Dorothy Gators. Oh, That's those ones there. are quite insane. Yeah. I do like the Blazers, mm. but I don't know. There's a bit too much going on in that one for me. I, I think I prefer the... the mids to the highs no these are the mids fucking Christ they're high as shit oh that's not that bad here they definitely look <laughs> they, higher they look higher yeah yeah no they, they're they nice I don't really know much about Dorothy Gators though I think it's not really fair that I you know get a pair when someone else wants one if I don't know who they are mate but uh, these ones, how much did they cost us? Don't know, but they're they're out there. You can find them. Nice. <laughs> Next up, we've got a Conor McGregor collab. Oh. With Reebok on their Zig Kinetica. Oh, that sounds very nice. Yeah, I've never heard of the Zig Kinetica before. Oh, I like the little statue. Yeah, I hope it comes with that. Surely it's not like that at the beginning. At the front, is it? Or is that a part no, no, of his th statue? That, I think that's a part of his statue. Oh, right. That'd be fucking crazy if that was on the <laughs> shoe. <laughs> no, that's it there. It doesn't look bad, you know. I don't know but much about... Wait, what does he do? Wrestling or... UFC. M UFC. Like MMA, yeah. Okay. That's the sport he does, yeah. MMA. Yeah. I don't think they wore shoes. They don't wear shoes. <laughs> Why is he doing a, sh a shoe deal? Um, I don't know. They, um... I don't know. They look cool, though, I reckon. They do look pretty cool, but I don't see how they would help you with the... It's like a lifestyle thing, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, it does come with it. That's pretty cool. Challenge by now. I don't know what that... What that is. What yeah. That... What that pattern means. It kind of looks like Shazam. Like that superhero. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, there he is there. 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to get kicked by that. Oh, <laughs> I would I not either. He's got a mean kick on him. Like, would you rather be kicked, like, in the chest by Conor McGregor or Joe Rogan? Oh, no. <laughs> Conor McGregor. <laughs> yeah, Joe Rogan's got a fucking mean kick on him. Yeah, He's like a goddamn horse, that cunt. <laughs> Conor McGregor punches harder than he kicks, so... <laughs> I'd take my chances. I still wouldn't feel good. But better than Joe Rogan. I actually like the um like the line down the Stripe. Oh, but yeah. I do like that too. Yeah, it's not a bad looking shoe actually. For his first one. Yeah. Why isn't this going home? Mate, you broke your keyboard, mate. Genuinely think I did. But yeah, for a first shoe. Pretty decent. So these ones are cheap, hundred and twenty dollars. Not bad. Yeah. Conor McGregor's all about that money, so he is. There you go. A bit of Reebok Connor collab. <laughs> We've got a collab between End and Reebok on their DMX Trail Shadow Mercury. There you go. I mean, that just looks crap. <laughs> Fuck is the mess. Where's the Adidas logo in that? No, wait, it's not Adidas, is it? No, it's Reebok. You said Adidas. Did I say yeah. Adidas? Yeah. I'm, I was reading that. Wait, you said Adidas. Fucking rip. Oh, I do like whatever's going on here, though. <laughs> Bit of melted mercury. That looks fucking sick. Do you reckon it is actually mercury? No, he would probably be dead. Yeah. Surely that's, like, dangerous. Or maybe I should pour that on you. <laughs> no, that's for the people to find out later. That I don't know. I know, like concentrated, like pure mercury is very bad for you, but I don't know about that. No, that's just obviously paint or like just like statues almost. Like they've just placed it there. Yeah, it can't be actual liquid. Yeah, that looks so crap. That looks like any shoe that you get at any discount shoe store. <laughs> I think it kind of looks like uh, those shit Balenciagas I don't really get any there we go any good views of them I don't rate that at all these ones cost $175 that's not worth it save yourself $55 and go buy Conor McGregor's shoes <laughs> <laughs> on BBC yep it is a BBC collab with Reebok Mate, there's a lot of Reeboks this week, man. There really is. On, what is it? The BB4000. Big baller brand. <laughs> so these ones will cost us $110. And it looks like something that G-Unit has made. Like, no, fucking wrong. way back in the day. I'm not a fan of BBC at all. Are you not? No. Not a fan of BBC? <laughs> I thought you would have been. <laughs> that is actually a pretty cool box that comes in, though. I will give them that. Yeah, they make some cool boxes. Remember the um, Stranger Things ones when they yeah, came I in that lunchbox? That's the best one. Oh, shit, come to the few. Like, you are little add-ons. Yeah, I really like that. But yeah, I think the Stranger Things box is one of the best I've seen. That was like the... Like the tin box. Like yeah, the, it was like a, a lunchbox. Yeah. What's the name of the school? Like... Downton High or something. I think it starts with D. That sounds pretty close. That sounds like it would be something. Yeah. <laughs> a movie somewhere. I mean, a bloody school somewhere in a movie. And then I think we are up to what is releasing. All right. Yes. On the Nike LeBron 17 Low, the Tuna Squad, these ones are releasing the 28th of February, which is Friday. Well, that looks pretty insane. Actually. Oh, that swoosh is mental. I really like that, actually. Like, not it the looks swoosh. like smoke. <laughs> yeah, not particularly the swoosh, but I really like the whole colour scheme. Yeah. And the, the, the texture on the top. That looks really cool, like the waffle mm. almost. That yeah, really I agree. Cool. But like, it's got like two midsoles. If you take out this one there, like if you just sort of start from there, that's a shoe. There you go. I do like that. Yeah, these are fucking mental. 
pretty fire. Tune Squad. Does he say that? Tune Squad. Does he say that? Yeah. No. It's just like the movie. Bloody... Looney Tunes. Yeah. What's that movie called? Oh, uh, Space Jam. That's it. Space Jam. Because he's going to be in that. Well, apparently. I swear they've been saying that for the last like 10 years. Yeah, okay. It's the... The squad in tune. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tune I'll Tune. What's it called? Tune. Tune, tune squad. It's tune squad. Yeah. We'll yeah. <laughs> so these ones here will cost you a hundred and sixty, which I think is pretty pretty decent price. Uh, next up is the. It's a Reebok collection. The eighty one. That sounds pretty dope. When I first saw this here, I thought it said. 80 or 8 yon. <laughs> 8 yon. <laughs> Mate, they need to put the hyphen in there. What do you think of that? These it's just like the boys. shit version of Conor McGregor's. <laughs> it's the same shoe, isn't it? It is. It is the Zig Kinetics. There's, I believe, three colorways. I don't know what that is. Oh, it costs 14,000 yen. Trek Grey. Well, I do like the sound of that. Thing. That one there is... True grey slash black. And that's it. Yep. <laughs> Not really. No. Oh, that looks like quite bad. Looks like Darth Vader's mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, not the best. I don't really know what the Vinyl Archive is and why they're leading Reebok's well, like collection. Vinyl Archive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these ones here, we don't have a price, but the Conor McGregor ones were, what, 120 So I assume it would be around there. Yeah, maybe a touch less because yeah. it's not a collab. Yeah, I reckon it would be a touch less. Yeah. And then next up, we have the Nike Bubble Pack. So there's quite a few of these. There's the Air Max 98, 200, 270 React, and the 720. Here they all are here. So it's basically just a white colorway with some... Well, I like that one. Things. The boomerang. <laughs> I think that's the, the 270. I think so. I like that the most out of all of them. I don't hate this one either. I think that one... I don't there's, fucking there's know, to be honest. For me to remember. There really are. I think the first one you pointed to was the 200. And then All the right. second one is the 270. There you go. So, we don't really get a very close-up look here. So, I've opened up one individual shoe. I went with the Air Max 90, so we can have a look at it. It's covered in bubbles. Oh. I'm not sure how I, I feel about that. But you can get a slightly better look at it down here, oh, especially up there. Like, you know that fear that people have, like, things with lots of holes in it? Yeah. That uh, that reminds me of that fear. Tropophobia, mate. Is that what it's called? Yep. Gabby's got that, mate. There you go. She hates cheese with holes in it. Swiss cheese? Yep. I have it a little bit, but not on cheese. The cheese doesn't <laughs> scare me. It's just cheese. She but also doesn't like my uh, my 4Ds. Oh, that doesn't. Yeah. That's not that bad to me either. Maybe I don't have it. Maybe I only have it on certain things. What gets you? Like, have you ever seen? Oh, it's getting my nose itchy thinking about it. But like, mate, I'll get up a picture. Okay. And I'll show you. So this whole collection is releasing Saturday, February the twenty ninth, and I don't know the individual prices on the shoes, but all it gives me is a range between one hundred and twenty and one hundred and eighty. I'd say the MX90 is 180. But yeah. Fairly standard prices. Mate, I can't even find it. Hang on, keep going. Okay. <laughs> so the next shoe is the Travis Scott and oh. Nike SB Dunk Low. So we've seen these ones before, so we won't get into them. But we finally have a release date for them, and it is Saturday, the 29th of February, for only 150 bucks. And if these go like his last pair, you're going to want to try and cop them. 
They look, they look like that bandana shit again. Yeah. Like his last ones. I don't like the edits where, like, there's holes in people's skin. I don't like the... The ones that really freak me out are the bloody hair follicle transplants. Can't say I've ever seen them. Like... That's something that you yeah, would like. Yeah, that's... No, that's very close up. I don't like how... It, it's quite invasive, that. It's a very confronting image. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to... There's no... Oh, Jesus. That is terrifying, man. Oh, what? Show Someone's me that like one. very weird feet. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to see that then. <laughs> oh! No, trypophobia... That's got some mileage on it. <laughs> oh, kidney stones. Oh, that's not too... Like, I just feel for the person. It's a confronting image too, yeah. It's not the fact of how it looks. It's what it is that's... That's disturbing. Oh. What the fuck is that? It's pizza dough opened up. Oh. But like... No, that doesn't freak me out. It is like a actual, like, psychological fear that's been passed down because it looks like rotting meat. And like... Oh, there like you go. ancestors were taught to be scared and not eat rotting yeah. meat. So it's sort of been passed down, like heights and stuff like that. So like yeah. everyone's a bit scared of heights and everyone yeah. has well, a little bit of Yeah, well, that's sort of just it. common sense as well. Yeah. yeah. There you go. It's not, like, pleasing to look at, <laughs> yeah. but I don't, like, find it revolting, you know? Some things. Are, oh, I swear there's one where, like, a coconut has, like, holes in it. Yeah, that's one. Oh, okay. And I don't like it. It freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon it will come off a of Google coconut with holes? Yeah. If you, I, I reckon I can find it. I found one with three holes, like a bowling ball. I found this. This is it. Yeah, no, that's not confront. That's quite, quite smooth. <laughs> oh, I always get itchy on the nose one. It freaks me out. God damn. All right, moving on. Next up, we have the Nike Air MX 720-818 shattered backboard. I don't quite know what that, that name means. Man, it's quite a long hole. Holy <laughs> A cruise ship at the front. It looks like it's Big been bastard. It looks like a um, like a an inflatable castle. Like it Man, looks it does inflated. Look inflatable. Yeah, I will give you that. That is <laughs> like it looks like if you poke a hole in it, it'll just collapse. So there's a heap of colorways of these coming out, but I can't get over the name as well. The MX seven twenty eight one eight, and it's got it just plastered all over the shoe. Man. Oh, this, oh, that brown colorway is quite... Quite shit. Yeah. Oh, I don't like the, the check. checkers. Yeah, yeah, that's horrible. Do they have any others here? No. But yeah, not a fan of these ones at all. So just chucked them in to get your reaction. Yeah, but don't rate them. These ones here, all we know are they releasing this month, considering it's coming to the end. Be sure to keep your ear to the ground, and they will cost you 200 Next up, we've got the Nike Air Streak Light. Those don't look bad, you know. Okay. I don't that, mind them. That swoosh is just a boomerang. That's the weirdest looking swoosh I've ever seen. It's not bad. I don't know about the random spots of blue. Yeah. It's quite a small silhouette as well. It is very streamlined, that. Which is... I like the lightning bolt Yeah, that's on the back. nice. All these the Harry Potters, mate. You couldn't, you wouldn't be wrong about saying that. Yeah, it's weird for Nike to come out with a, such a small silhouette like that. They're sort of like the same size as sandals, almost. Yeah, they're like a little, sort of almost like a futsal shoe or something like that. <laughs> yeah, actually, so these ones here are releasing the first of March, and there's no word on price just yet. Yeah. Next up, we've got two Fear of God shoes. These ones were meant to release on the 28th of February, but they have been pushed back to the 26th of March. Someone's got to release on the 29th of February. Because, like, it only comes once every four years. Well, there have been two? Have yeah. they? Yeah. Someone haven't been listening. The Bubble Pack and the Travis Scotts. Oh, there you go. Uh, old mate Trav took up the rare opportunity. 
So these are, what are they? Wait, the who is that? Air Fear of God 1, the question. That is Jerry Lorenzo. Is he the, um... Who is that? He owns is Fear of the... God. Oh, he owns Fear of God. He looks like that boxer guy. I don't know his name, but he looks like that boxer guy. I don't know. He looks like a more attractive Kawhi Leonard. No, I'm telling... no he does not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because he has cornrows. <laughs> the... That looks like the boxing guy. I'm going to get that guy up. It might be the boxing guy. Nah, I don't think it is. He doesn't have a beard like that. He's a much smaller beard. I, th- I think that's Jerry Lorenzo, but I th- Jerry Lorenzo may be white. I've just typed in boxing guy. No, that is Jerry Lorenzo. Oh, he went sneaker shopping, apparently. Didn't know that. I wonder if he copped any fogs. So these are the Nike Air Fear of God 1, The Question. I don't know why they're called The Question. I like the... Um, wait, go up? Or is that the first one? That's the first one. Oh, I like the black ones. Yeah. yeah, those. Those look cool. Or are they the same ones? as just they're the same ones, Oh, yeah. they are? Oh. No. Is there a different colorway? Yeah. Yeah, so there's that. Oh, that one's just Still like a same. cream. No, that's a different color on the bottom. Is it? No, that's the same. Oh, maybe. Hey, what fucking drugs did you take this morning? Come on, there's got to be a different colorway. Isn't there a blue one? Or maybe it was just the lighting. Okay, there's oh. only one. Oh, you get this. A hair Jesus. done. Looks insane. That's a crazy photo shoot. Yeah, so what do you reckon about those? Man, I like them. Dude, that looks blue up there. I do yeah, like it does, the Fear okay. of God ones. That's mm. what they are, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the question is, but that's them. Uh, what are these ones costing us? I don't think I put it in. $350. Uh, I think that's fairly standard for Fear of God. And then they've also got a Converse Chuck 70. You can't constrict them to Nike. There you go. They look like Rick Owens. They do look like Rick Owens, don't they? Mm. But also, they look like Converses. They do. Uh, they're not too special. How the hell do you tie them? Yeah, where's the knot? Because <laughs> like, the knot's not at the back there. I don't know, it must be inside the shoe. Which would be annoying. No, where's it go inside? There's literally nowhere like that leads to, that. to the inside. Oh. They go around the back. Oh, yes, yes, come up yes. Through oh, I see you now. Yeah. Unless you're not meant to tie them, just wear them like loose with the aglets inside. The loosey-goosey. Yeah. There you go. Maybe it's all a ploy and there's <laughs> straps on it somewhere. But these ones also release March 26th. Mate, they got the long reach there. I do. Releasing them early. <laughs> And there's no word on price just yet. And then lastly, we've got the James Bond 007 oh. Ultra Boost. This is a new Ultra Boost as well, the 2020. It hasn't changed, actually. It looks the exact same as the 2019 Ultra Boost. But it's got James Bond on the back. Yeah, it does. I'm going to have one 007. more. I'm going to test it out. These are one of the most lacklustre collabs I've ever seen. Just triple black. Oh. I'm getting a bit of like capskin now. I'm, I'm gonna. I'll have a few in a row. I'll just ta- get a big chunk and chomp them all. Yeah, do that all in your mouth. No, no, no. no. I'll, I'll, I'll munch them. Right, time. I'll see if it grows on me. But yeah, that has to be like the most disappointing collab of all time. If you think. New Ultra Boost silhouette with James Bond. Mate, That's not what you picture. Should be a gun on there. Oh, well, there is like on the back, I think. Oh, in the seven. Maybe not actually. No, there's not. Yeah, that's a bit trash. Mate, that boost has given me a bit of like that fear shit. <laughs> what is wrong with that boost? I don't know. They're pretty trash, but they um, 
The film for this is set to release April 8th, so I'm assuming these would release around that time, like probably a little bit before, to help build up hype for the movie. Uh, that's it for sneakers, so thank you guys for tuning in. Be yep. sure to stay tuned, because later today, we've got our track review. You're going to want to hear it. That's a wrap.